A and B's happy April. Do you know what April brings? Wait a minute. I think someone said it. Rain. <laughs> lots and lots of rain. Because April showers brings May flowers. Okay. So I thought we would read a story about rain. And, this, and not only about rain, about how even though we are inside or even though um, it might be rain outside or we have to stay home like nowadays for certain reasons, um, just because we are indoors doesn't mean we can't use our imaginations, okay, or even when we're outside. So, pick the dilly and the jolly raindrops by Lisa Ann Novelin. And pictures by Nicola Huang. So I thought we should have some sound effects in the background. So I'm going to add a little rain. Let's see if I can find my rain sound effects. There. I think that works. Just a little in the background. Pick the dilly and the giant. The jolly green girls. Piccadilly pressed her nose against the storm door, looking sadder than the day her balloon flew away. She watched as the rain jumbled and tumbled from the sky. Her brother knelt beside her. What's wrong, Dilly? Oh, Sam, Rufus and I were going to visit a far-off land today, but it's so rainy and gray, it's a drizzly and gloomy kind of day, Piccadilly sighed. Huh. But this kind of day can be happy and wonderful, too, said Sam, smiling. It's all in how you look at it. What do you mean, Piccadilly said. Well, think about the raindrops, said Sam. Today is a fantastic day for them. After all, it's not every day they get to come out and play. Hmm, Piccadilly thought as one raindrop zoomed, ping, against the glass near her nose, and another zip, zing, by her cheek. Her eyes began to twinkle. What do you think Piccadilly's doing and thinking? Oops, there's the picture. <laughs> Rufus, she said to her cat, maybe today will be a happy and wonderful kind of day. Today I'm going to be a ranger. What is Piccadilly going to use, guys? Yep, if you said on that genation, you're very right. Piccadilly ran into the kitchen. Mom, may I go outside? It's very wet out there. Are you sure? said Mom. Oh, the rain shouldn't bother me, said Piccadilly. Today I'm a raindrop. And then outside it is, Mom agreed, and she helped Piccadilly into her lemony yellow raincoat and froggy green rubber boots. inched backwards. I don't think he likes the rain. It's okay, Rufus. It will be fun, Piccadilly said. She scooped him up and together they scooted out the door. Piccadilly crept toward a large puddle in the driveway. She watched as the green drops tumbled into the water. Riddity tap, riddity tap, Riddity tap. Riddity tap, she repeated, and she leapt into the puddle. Curr plash. You don't say curr plash. One, two, three. Curr plash. Oh, I'm sorry, Rufus. Here. She propped her umbrella on the grass and placed the cat underneath. Poor Rufus is getting all wet. Right. 
Piccadilly skipped to another puddle. She listened. Lilia, Lilia, Lilia. The raindrop cartwheeled through the air and into the water. Me too, she laughed, and once again she sprung home. Has anybody else noticed that I have my jolly raindrop here to join me on reading? Just then, a nearby rustling caught her ear. It was her neighbor, Otis. Oh, my name's getting harder. Back, back to that comrade. Right. Let's go, Rufus, she said, as they skedaddled next door. What are those? asked Piccadilly. Paper boats. I'm sailing in them in the puddles. They really float, Otis explained. Show me, cried Piccadilly. Otis placed one into the water. Piccadilly watched as it slid round and round. He handed one to her. She filled it with a freshly picked clover and then guided a ladybug on board. Ladybug Buttercup is sailing to the land of jolly raindrops, Piccadilly said, balancing her boat on the puddle. Otis grinned. I like that. I think Ladybug Buttercup wants us to play the rhyming game. Oh, yes, said Piccadilly. You start. Ladybug, Ladybug Buttercup sailed off to sea, said Otis. Ladybug Buttercup smiled at me, Piccadilly replied. Ladybug, Ladybug Buttercup whistled a tune. Ladybug Buttercup flew to the moon. Piccadilly and Otis started laughing. They're looking, using those big, beautiful imaginations. I wish we could travel to the land of jolly raindrops, Otis whispered. Maybe we can. After all, today I am a raindrop. And just as Piccadilly spoke those words, the paper boat began to grow. Soon it was big enough for Piccadilly, Otis, and Rufus to hop aboard. They greeted Ladybug Buttercup. Oh, how lovely you are, Piccadilly said. Oh, sorry, it's Piccadilly. Oh, how lovely you are, Piccadilly said as she curtsied. The Ladybug smiled. Why, thank you, my dear. As the crew set off, Piccadilly announced, Now we sing the raindrop song. Rattity tap, ting tong ting, bloppity bloop, plunk ker plash, plop plop plop, blippity blop, lily up up up, jingle tingle ping ping ping, pilly up tup tup. The quartet sang and sang as they did. The whispering puddle stretched into a gurgling brook. The boat streamed through the backyards and beyond. Before long, their houses were nowhere in sight, and the brook opened into a glittering pond. They had discovered the land of the jolly raindrops. Look, guys. Wow, there's a lot going on in this What do you see? The raindrops were everywhere, frolicking about. Does anybody know what frolicking means? That's kind of a big word. What do you think? Frolicking is like dancing. You're dancing about. Bouncing off byways and springing off flowers, the merry travelers waved and sang along with their new friends. What an enchanting melody they all made. After a speck of time between a moment and forever, the boat circled one last time and then turned toward home. Alas, the voyage was winding to an end. Beaming with delight, the trio said their goodbyes and the ladybug and the boat returned to their normal size. Nobody will 
leave us, said Otis. They don't have to, Piccadilly smiled. When it was time for Otis to go inside, Piccadilly tiptoed like a raindrop into her own backyard. She closed her eyes and listened to the rain continue to fall. Plunk, plunk, clickety, plunk, into an outdoor planter and tingle, tingle, jingle, tingle against her wind chimes. Just then, Piccadilly felt a bright warmth wash over her. She opened her eyes to spy the sun peeking from behind a cloud. A radiant arc of color had spread across the sky. It was a rainbow, and it felt to Piccadilly as though the whole world had burst into applause. A knowing smile snuck across her face. She took a long, slow, deep breath. Everybody, let's take a deep breath with Piccadilly. And let it out. And a deep bow. We raindrops do make some mighty fine music. Come on, Rufus, let's go home. Piccadilly wobbled inside, looking a wee bit drowsy. What does drowsy mean? And if you could tell looking at the picture, this drowsy me. And you may think Piccadilly's getting a little sleepy. She had a big adventure. Why, hello, said Mom as she helped Piccadilly dry off. How's my little raindrop? Did you have a nice day? The best, Piccadilly seen, smiled happily and sleepily. And then the sun came out. Ah, yes, said Mom. The sun came out. Does that mean it's time for the raindrops to rest? Yes, said Piccadilly. How about some warm fairy milk and a story? Yes, said Piccadilly. Then fairy milk in with then fairy milk in hand, Piccadilly snuggled in with Mom and shared a story. The perfect ending to such a happy and wonderful day. Oh, and there's some bees. And also, here is a recipe for Piccadilly's fairy milk. I'll put it there so you guys can see it. Good job. Now ask yourself these questions. Were you a good audience? Were your eyes and ears open and your mouths closed? Were you paying attention? I know you did. I know you. You always do. You're always my very good audience. Okay? So I have a special thing to show you. And I asked Piccadilly if I could borrow one of her jolly raindrops. There we go, there's our Jolly Raindrop. All right. Good job, guys. Now, we've been sitting for a while, so I think we should shake our bodies up. So let's shake, shake, shake our wiggles out. Shake, shake, shake our wiggles out. Shake, shake, shake our wiggles out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Let's clap, let's clap, clap, clap our wiggles out. Clap, clap. Clap our wiggles out, clap, clap, clap our wiggles out, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Let's jump, jump, jump our wiggles out, jump, jump, jump our wiggles out, jump, jump, jump our wiggles out, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Let's twist, let's twist, twist, twist our wiggles out, twist, twist, twist our wiggles out, twist, twist, twist our wiggles out, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Good. And if you want to add some ideas. 
or what we can do for our wiggles, you can add them to our comment page on Classroom um, under the link under the video on our Google Classrooms, okay? And then for next time, I'll try to squeeze them in because you know how you like to give me ideas for our shaking our wiggles out, okay? Very good. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.